Hello, welcome to Misty's Country Kitchen. On today's episode, we're going to be making homemade pizza. These are the ingredients we'll be using today. Silver rice and white flour, wheat flour, wheat gluten, bacon powder, olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, brown sugar, and yeast. We what I used to make my dough with. Then I used tomato paste, Italian seasoning for my sauce, and then I'll be cooking my hamburger with bell peppers and onions and using pizza cheese. Okay, first we're going to make the dough. I have a one package of Red Star Quick Rising Yeast in here, and I've got a tablespoon of brown sugar and a tablespoon of olive oil. Next, we're going to add a cup of hot water. And if you let your water get above 115 degrees, it'll kill your yeast. So you want your hot water to be between 110 and 115 degrees. Get this good and dissolved up. Okay, now that's good and dissolved. We're going to add a cup of white flour. And we're going to mix that up together first. We're going to get that good and moistened. And then we're going to add some whole wheat flour to it. A cup of whole wheat flour. We're going to add a cup of wheat flour to it. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of my bacon powder with my wheat flour. A teaspoon of my wheat gluten. Stir this up and mix it really good. Get this good mixed up together where all your flour soaks up the liquids. Once you get everything mixed up and everything absorbed, then I take mine and I set it to the side and I let it rise for about 15 minutes. While my dough is rising, we will get on the hamburger meat and get it cooking. Okay, I have about two pounds of hamburger here, a large onion, and a large bell pepper. And I chop them up in nice small pieces, not too small. That way they cook good. And uh, with my bell pepper, we cut the top off and I clean the inside out. Make sure that rib is sticking to the side. And then we'll salt and pepper it. A little garlic powder in here for flavor. And I like to use a little Italian seasoning and then I use my sauce just to give it a little extra flavor. I'm going to put this over on the stove. Stir it up some. And I, if you like crisp vegetables, then you wouldn't do this, but I like to have soft vegetables and that way it gives my meat good flavor to cook inside with it. And then while this is turning cooks, then we'll be making our sauce. Okay, now we're going to be making our pizza sauce. I use one can of tomato paste. I've got Hunt's tomato paste here. And I use one can of hot water. It helps blend it up good together. And I, I season it with a little bit of salt. A bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a good taste in sauce, and about a tablespoon of seasoning, Italian seasoning mix. And I'll blend this all up together. And this will be used. We're going to blend this together and use it to make it on top of our pizza. Okay, now that our dough is finished rising, we're going to punch it down. And we're going to put a little bit of flour here on the table and begin to work it out. All this out of here. And then we will knead it for about five minutes. We'll knead it until it's nice and see, smooth and elastic. Roll that over and I want to divide it into two separate pieces. I'll make a large pizza and a smaller pizza so I want one size a little bit bigger than the other. I'll sit them up there and let that sit for a minute. Okay, we're going to get ready to roll the dough out. First, I want to put a little bit of canola oil. I like to use canola oil in my skillet, so that way it gives it a little bit of a crisp crust, as if you're going to fry it. I'm going to spread that oil out just a little bit, that way it's all over it. And we're going to take and we're going to roll this dough out to fit it. I like to use cast iron because cast iron gives you all the extra iron that you need. Most Americans nowadays have a low iron count. But every time we've ever been to get our iron cooked, they say it's excellent. And I've always cooked in cast iron. Okay. I'm taking a 
put this in here and just fit it to, to fit. And that's the crust pizza. Okay, we're going to roll this other dough out nice and thin and have us a thin crust pizza also. Okay, I'm going to put these up here on this heat. My skillets were already good and preheated. And I'll put a lid on both of these and I'll let them cook. And then I'll flip them over and I'll make my topping on it. And then I will put it back on, and while the topping melts and gets warm, the bottom of it will brown. Okay, now it's time to check our pizza dough. Nice and brown. Set this over here. I take and I flip. Extra crust there. Put this over. And that way, when you do your stuff, if you're not careful when you make pizza, reason I cook this is that way it doesn't get doughy and whenever you'll find a pizzas you've eaten and they're doughy it's because they were cooked before the crust was crisp okay now we're going to build our pizza first we'll put our pizza sauce on now we're going to put the hamburger on the pizza I like to put a good amount because you go to these places and you get pizzas and they just don't have no meat or no toppings on them. So I figure if I make it at home then we can layer it up good. And you may have to have a fork to eat it sometimes, but the more the better. Okay, now for the rest of the toppings. Some mushrooms on both of them. My children like mushrooms, so I try to put plenty of them on. I like to open them and drain all the juice out good. You can use fresh mushrooms, but you'd need to saute them first before you used them. And if you was to cook this in a regular oven, then you'd want to put it on about 450, 475, 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is good and melted. And the same with the dough. You'd want to put your dough in there, and you'd leave it on there on 450 for about 15, 20 minutes until you got a golden crisp crust. And you'd pull it out, and still you can flip it over and put your toppings on there and then put it back in there until the cheese is melted. Let's put this cheese on. I like to use pizza cheese, but a lot of times I've used just mozzarella cheese and it's really good with just plain mozzarella cheese too. I always like to find finely shredded, but this is just regular. This way you can just experiment and put whatever toppings you like or whatever you want on. Whether it's black olives or pepperoni or whatever. Okay, now we're, okay, we're going to put these on the stove and let them cook the rest of the way. And I will also cover these so I still have my bacon effect. And then we'll be back here in just a little bit to cut these up and see how they taste. Okay, now the pizzas are done, we're going to cut them and give them a taste. now. Mmm, that's good. From Misty's Country Kitchen, this is your episode on making homemade pizza. Y'all come back now, you hear?